Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. So I've got in my hand an old friend, Nexus 5X. Now, I've got this in my hand because, well, the Android 7.1 developer preview just came out today, and we've got it up and running here on the 5X. It's also available for the 6P and Pixel C as well, in case you do own those devices. Uh, but we wanted to run through it because there's some new stuff in here outside of what Google told us to expect. So we just want to make sure you guys know exactly what you're getting into when you get this update. So here's a quick look at Android 7.1. All right, so up first, we're actually gonna jump all the way into settings because there's actually a pretty major new addition here. And you'll see it right there. It's this secondary tab, which you can swipe over. You can also just tap up here. It does say support. Now, this is 24 seven support, which we thought was maybe gonna be a Pixel exclusive feature, uh, but you can see it there. There is a support tab on this device. We've confirmed it's also on the Nexus 6P. And you do have two options here for phone support or chat support, which is grayed out at the moment because it's the middle of the night and there's no one there to chat with. But if I tap phone button, it'll request a call back so I can talk to somebody about issues I may be having with my Nexus. And then if I hit chat, I can actually dive into a chat and talk to someone live. So. 24 seven support now included on Nexus 5X and 6P. I would imagine Pixel C as well uh, with Android 7.1. And actually, before we get too far, you will notice down here, this is 7.1.1. Uh, we weren't expecting it to be 7.1.1. So uh, a little bit surprising, but it is 7.1.1, still nougat. And this particular build is NPF 10C, just in case you were wondering there. Uh, so outside of support tab and this being 7.1.1, we'll just kind of stay in settings here. And uh, you'll notice there is a new section here called moves. So moves is on the pixel and pixel XL. And uh, if we go into moves and tap on it, this is, it, it's, it's a lot like Motorola's Moto Actions, which we sort of compared to, I believe in our unboxing or maybe first 10 things video for the pixel. Uh, but what you've got in here are some options and they're, and they're essentially actions, Google's calling them moves, but one of them is jump to the camera, which is a double tap there on that power button. Uh, and you can toggle that on and off. And there's a flip camera, which is when you're in the camera, you can do that wrist gesture to launch into the, uh, to flip from selfie mode to rear camera. And then there's lift to check phone, which is not necessarily a new feature. It's just categorized here in moves. And that's when your phone is lying down on a table and you lift it up, the sort of ambient display lights up to see if uh, you have any notifications. So you guys have seen some of these, not necessarily new, but they're now categorized in a move section. All right, so moving on from there, app shortcuts. Now this is one of those features that Google actually did tell us to expect. So app shortcuts are long presses on icons in your launcher. And you can see I've got the Google Now launcher up here. Long press on an icon gets you app shortcuts. So for Chrome, for example, I can launch into a new incognito window or a regular window. Um, with Calendar, I can set up a new reminder, a new event. Um, with Maps, I could either navigate directly home or to work. And Google Play will get me right into my apps. Photos has some stuff as well. You sort of get the idea here. Now, one of the cool things, and I've showed you this previously, is you can still move these around. So you just keep long pressing and holding and moving. Um, but if you do launch these, you can actually grab these and create shortcuts of the app shortcuts as direct launches, basically, um, from your home screen. Uh, I should also point out you can do this from within the app drawer. So a long press on an icon will get those showing up as well. So app shortcuts, basically just a long press on an app shortcut, and they pop up additional shortcuts. Uh, one thing I did want to point out is uh, if we long press on the power button now, there is an official restart button. So previously, Google only had power off, and we've seen other phones, Samsung, uh, LG, a lot of these other manufacturers do have a restart, but Google's vision of Android uh, never did until now. So 7.1, there is a restart button. Uh, just something minor up here, but if you swipe down your swipe down your notification area, uh, this has changed a little bit up top here. So we've got all these quick toggles. In the previous build of 7.0, the little down arrow was actually in this far right spot. So essentially what they've done is move that up, giving you an extra quick toggle. And then they've also made a shortcut to the settings button right there. So you no longer have to swipe down to get to that settings button. And again, you also have now an extra quick toggle, which is a nice little feature. Uh, and then finally, 
This is the last sort of big thing we're noticing so far. If you go into storage on your device, you'll notice a new option up here called Manage Storage. So Manage Storage is essentially well, we're calling it smart storage. And what smart storage does, if you can read that right there, it says when your storage is almost full, you can have automatically removed uh, backed up photos and videos. Um, you can still find them in Google Photos, obviously. So what Google's trying to do is, as you run out of space or should you run out of space, they're trying to automatically manage some of your um, storage and freeing up old unused files. Now you can do some other things as well. Um, you can actually tap this button and it'll just wipe anything out that's over 90 days old. Or there's this manual area where it says free up space. So if we tap on that, you should be able to tap on that. There we go. Potentially. There we go. Uh, so it loads up into this UI that says choose items to remove. Now what it's doing is finding videos and photos up there that you may use and it tells you an estimate of there's 534 megabits of stuff we could probably get rid of. Um, there's a download section where your downloads folder gets pulled up and you check boxes to decide what you want to free up. You can even go into an app section and it'll show you the amount of stuff you could probably save. Uh, it shows you apps that you've never used before that you may just want to get rid of. Uh, and so it's, it's kind of a handy little trick here in, in case you do need to free up some storage. But either way, that's how you find it through storage, manage storage, and that will get you in there. Now, a couple of things that we're not seeing. Uh, we were sort of expecting to see Google's night light, which is their sort of night mode where it turns your screen sort of an amberish color. Um, so on the Pixel, it is located in your quick toggles, um, but then it is also located in display and there's supposed to be a display setting right around here for nightlight and we thought it was coming to nexus phone so far not there could come later on i can't imagine that's really a pixel exclusive but for now nightlight mode is not there um and then finally we knew this was going to be the case but there is no google assistant so if you long press you still get sort of that screen share ui instead of google assistant so uh not there but you do sort of get quite a bit of extra stuff here so uh, anyways that's just a quick look at what's new in android 7.1 for your nexus 5x 6p and pixel c this update will come to additional devices so um, stay tuned there got any comments questions or you find anything else out new that we miss let us know we're droid life peace